Here we go with a few random things. Does it get more random than this? My thesis on the probability of intercepting a tip pass led to an internship with our college football team's director of analytics and a reconsideration of our team's defensive formations. I felt like we were going through the motions during weekly product meetings. I asked my supervisor if we could start with good news and shout outs and meetings have suddenly sprung to life. Ah, the omelet, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, and feta. Lox, fried onions, and even cream cheese? I love to experiment for my four to six weekly brunch guests. Although I didn't own a bike, I committed to a 50-mile charity ride. I raised $3,247 for leukemia research and thanked a friend for letting me borrow her ride. I won't go all the way to 25, but these are a few random things that work that could launch the numbered list of 25 random things that Vuqua wants in 750 words. Why do these bullets work? Already with only four random things, this essay has breadth and balance. These are four very different bullet points drawing from different life experiences. While Fuqua specifically asks you not to discuss the professional and academic, our applicant isn't engaging us in dry resume building accomplishments. While one bullet does occur within the professional world, we are learning about this application's personality in that bullet and how it made a dry office meeting a better experience. It's more about his personality. Be sure to draw from as many different areas as possible, but also make sure that you're sharing your walk through life, not your transcript or your annual review. Know that your bullets don't have to be zany, but they do need to be random. And that means being actually more specific. I wrote a sports analytics thesis on incomplete passes in college football games, landing me an internship in sports analytics. Not awful, but it's more of a fact. The randomness could be heightened. The more specific you are, the more random it feels. My thesis on the probability of intercepting a tip pass led to an internship with our college football team's director of analytics and a reconsideration of our team's defensive formations. There's a deeper story in the second example, one where a knack for math had a creative outcome. And so the story is far more interesting, less generic, and more truly random, and thus more interesting to the reader. And that's your goal. Looking at our third bullet point, it starts with, ah, the omelet. You can have fun with this essay, but you don't need to be funny or take risks. Definitely let your personality shine through and feel free to use humor without turning your essays into a joke. At the end of this, you have to come alive for the reader while being taken seriously. So if it feels risky or silly, save it for another time. If it feels like something you might actually say out loud, you're probably on the right track. And while you're thoughtfully sharing your best accomplishments here, this is really more about your values than taking a victory lap. Returning to our omelet bullet, we're not fundamentally learning about the individual skill as a chef. We learn about a personal passion and a desire to build community, a will to experiment and be creative. We learn about this individual's values and that's what's important. Finally, after you write your 25 random things, ask yourself one important question. Has the reader gotten a full understanding of who you are? This is arguably your chance to share more about yourself than Adcom than you would at any other program. 25 opportunities. Take advantage and share every last random thing that puts you in an interesting and positive light. Okay, you're ready to write your 25 random things. And maybe your interest in Fuqua is riding higher than ever. So check out the MBA Mission Insider's Guide to Fuqua, which is linked in the description below. Good luck with your application.